grand motherfucking rising and a high ascension, everybody. It's your Uncle Seven Nine, the spiritual savage. Uh, here to bring you a message. I'm just going to plug this up before it goes dead, you guys. Hold on real quick. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Select the all options so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? Uh, this is the frankincense. We're going to put her there. Him or her. But thank you for joining me this, uh, this rising. Grand rising. Good morning. Wherever you are in this world. I appreciate you and I love you. Thank you for the, the likes, the shares, the comments. This uh, subscribes, all that shit. Any donations made to my platform, um, I definitely appreciate it because ain't nobody got to do shit. You feel me? Uh, the live last night was very fun again. I love going live with you guys. I, you know what? I, I, you know, I feel like they get a tad bit too personal. So after they're done, I remove them. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> the conversation be a little too lit sometimes. Uh, just make. Uh, yeah, yeah. see that happens when I go to the barbershop See, it fucks up gave me God, my skin. skin so damn sensitive Somebody's very sensitive out there this morning, I'm sure Fucking scab uh, But let's give some thanks to the Most High God For bringing us here for this message this morning uh, For allowing us to spend some time together today Now the drawing is still open uh, Till noon You gotta go under the community Go to the community tab Put hashtag the spiritual savage Underneath the post and I will be doing a drawing later today. So, um, again, thank you for joining me. Uh, new subscribers, current subscribers, OGs. I, I definitely fucks with you. Spirit guys, spirit teams, law enforcement. I love you guys as well. Also, uh, Intergalactic Beings, Galactic Federation. Hi. Okay. Uh, and uh, Ascended Masters and Archangels. Uh, I think I forgot some people, didn't I? What's up, baby? Good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's get on with this So uh, apparently shadow banning uh, is back in effect You know I don't like that I, I feel like, it, I feel like it's, it's so disrespectful But it is what it ain't I'm here for y'all though I am definitely I wasn't going to come on this morning But then I, uh, I, I got God bumped So I'm like there's a download um, I had a very interesting dream last night um, um, It was very So I was with my sister and my niece. Um, I think it was at this at here at this place, yeah. And um, all of a sudden, a bunch of tadpoles um, started to come out of the out from underneath the stove. It was weird, and then they turned into frogs. It was like a gang of them. So I looked it up. Um, some of y'all out there might even know what that means. I, I, I didn't know what that mean, what that meant, but, uh, dream of tadpoles and frogs. There we go. All right. So, um, tadpoles and dreams are said to indicate that you haven't yet reached your potential. If you see a tadpole or a baby frog in the dream, according to the dream meaning, it represents the potential uh, for change into the unexpected. It's like uh, it's likely that you're ha that you're changing directions and starting on a new complete a completely new path. So that's that's what's up. So you could be that's a five 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 energy. Um, I might use that as the thumbnail. All right. So the verse of the day: Be very careful then how you live. Not as unwise, but as wise, making the most out of every opportunity because the days are evil. Uh, Ephesians 5, 1, 5, 5, 15. Wow. Okay. Living, uh, it, it, this is Phil Ware, thoughts on verse of the day. Uh, living with urgency doesn't mean living recklessly. It means uh, living with a uh, holy ab abandon. Uh, wait a minute. It means living with holy abandon to honor God and with a holy passion to make each moment count for righteous while knowing that we are at war against evil powers. That's Ephesians 6, 10 through 12. Uh, this means, that means that we must be intentional with our choices, taking care uh, to use our moments wisely as we live a life of character yielded to God um, and different from the world around us because we are servants to Jesus. Amen. I like that. Being righteous, living righteous every day. Every we have an opportunity to to be the best versions of ourselves every day. 
uh, no matter where we are or what's going on, you know, things can be very kind of uh, confusing. Um, I heard, yes, things can be very confusing sometimes, especially these days. Um, hell, I'd be confused about a lot of stuff. No lie. I definitely do. Um, we're going to have to do something about this lighting, though. I don't really too much care for it, but we'll fix that later on. Not right now. But thank you again. Um, but yeah, try to be, you know, be careful. We should always, always be careful when making choices. Um, trust and believe that I'm not above making mistakes. Um, but my days of living recklessly are over. I would encourage anybody out there this morning that's experiencing a case of the recklessness um, to maybe rethink that. I mean, I, you know, I do a lot of thinking sometimes about what would happen if I just was no longer here, you know, like, what would that be like? What would that be like? What would, what would people think or say about me? You know, that's kind of like a legacy kind of thing. Um, and I wake up every day and I think about that. And so what do I do? I, myself, I try to be... I try to be the I try to be the best version of myself every day. I try to make the best impression that I can uh, in this world and with people that I care about, confirmation and people that I love. And uh, I would encourage everybody to do the same. To think about death is very kind of morbid for some people. I hate when uh, I hate when old people go, "Well, when I'm not here no more." It's just kind of like, "Okay, don't say that no more." But everybody has to transition at some point. I don't look at death as an ending anymore. I look at death as a new beginning. Um, and, you know, but while we're here, though, um, you know, it's unfortunate we live in a society where most times a lot of people who are good people um, don't get their flowers until their funeral. <laughs> Confirmation. Uh, but, you know, I feel like um, every day is a good day to kind of give people their flowers. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I'm thinking about that. Hopefully there's nobody. Well, again, you know, I don't, I don't perceive death like that, but nobody likes to lose anybody. Um, there could be somebody that is passing away. I mean, it happens every day, but people are so fucking weird, man. Uh, but on with this, yeah, just, you know, that's just my word this morning. Try to, try to get... I just heard get right with God. Somebody might know they need to get right with God. We all do. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not, it's not, uh, you know, it's, it, when people say get right with God, people always be talking, you know, try to, you know, people that are sinners or people that are doing something wrong. And no, we all need to be getting right with God or our creator or our higher self. However you want to look at that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like we all could do that every single day. We all could do that for the rest of our lives. But let's just get on with this. I'm not going to do too much talking this morning. Um, let's just get some general collective energy. There is a download here. So we're going to see what this download is. Um, I did grab these cards. So let's use the Keepers of the Light Oracle for to get an Oracle message out here this morning. I feel so bad, though. There's one kitten that um, is like the outcast. And I keep looking it up and I keep avoiding... A very particular conversation uh, that is had about that that this kind of situation um, it's not it's not very good for the kitten you know uh, they say like the cat could be the kitten could be sick um, but the kitten seems every time I go touch the kitten it jumps right up or whatever so we're gonna give it a few more days here to see what happens but pray for the kitties y'all pray for the cats they could just be, you know, it could just be like the black sheep, or the, because they, they, there's something called single kitten syndrome like, in the world. I I don't know. It just, I would hate to think that the cat was being bullied a little bit, okay, from the rest of them. The Holy Spirit, expect miracles. Remember that only, that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. So you may need to hear that this morning. All right, the Holy Spirit. I like that. All right, so that's the oracle message this morning. We'll put this back in there because I, I don't, I feel like, I feel like whatever, whatever is about to come through in this download um, may not be so nice. Okay. But let's get the overall energy here. Where's the other cards at? This desk is a mess again. Um, 
Alexa, come clean my desk. Sorry, I don't know that one. Yeah, but we're just gonna use some tarot today. Then let's let's just give a classic tarot reading. A couple of decks here. Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for this reading so that I can give a clear and concise message to the collective this morning. I would appreciate that. If you would like a personal reading, please reach out to me at the spiritual savage at outlook.com. I still have spots available for this month. All right. So we could be talking about a Pisces. Let's see what happens here. We got the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. Let's get another card here. Uh -uh. The High Priestess. The Sun. If one more major comes out here. The Page of Cups to the Eight of Coins in the reverse. Can I get one for the High Priestess, please? The Moon. Mm -mm, I don't like this. Especially with the... Um, especially with the, the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The High Priestess to the Moon talks about magic. Somebody's going into spirit secretly or doing something underneath a moon in spirit. It could be a Pisces. But the the, heist, the 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 hangman talks about being enlightened. It can, it can talk about being stuck and stagnant. It could also be talking about a sacrifice, some type of sacrifice. Clarify the sun. The page of coins is an offering. Uh, ooh wee. Alexa. When is the next full moon? The next full moon will be next Thursday, May 23rd at 8.53 a.m. Thank you. Good morning, Dwayne. You're so welcome. Um, Your kindness really gives me a charge. Does it? Happy Wednesday. Ace of coins. For the sun. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. Clarify the eight of coins in the reverse. Somebody's trying to keep somebody trapped. Somebody's trying to keep that tower to the Ten of Cups, family possibly, um, or someone. This is somebody, it, it, this is, I don't know if this is family pay. So wands again at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's doing some magic. Somebody's, somebody is definitely doing some magic. Okay, so check this out. 
we got a Pisces. So the Pisces, okay, so Pisces doesn't, it can, it can be the sign Pisces. It really can be. I mean, the hangman is Pisces energy, Piscean energy. Uh, but Pisces are psychic. So somebody very psychic, okay? Uh, we got the high priestess out here. That's magic. That's psychic. Somebody who's going into spirit. Um, I'm getting God bumps all over too as well. <clears throat> somebody's, somebody's planning on doing some magic. Uh, the Eight of Coins in the reverse talks about work, doing work, or it could mean something's working against. But I feel like now it, it doesn't have to be during the next moon. I just really feel like somebody's doing and they're doing it secretly with the moon here. Uh, this person is doing this to manifest. This is about manifestations here. We got the Page of Cups here with the sun. Somebody's trying to manifest a new beginning with you, a uh, Pisces. Okay. This is not going to work. With the eight of coins in the reverse, that talks about reckless behavior, as 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 the verse of the verse of the day said. This is very reckless. Somebody somebody's doing something very recklessly. It's it, it's because a tower is about to hit, or it's going to cause a tower. This is the ten of, the ten of cups talks about family. It talks about being very happy. Um, ultimate wish fulfillment. I just heard you you have arrived somebody could be flying towards you somebody could be flying what clarify the ten of cups please this is somebody this is this is the justice card in the reverse clarify the justice card in the reverse please So these cards, the four coins, somebody's trying to reach, I'm telling you somebody, so so basically, I like these cards because they're like fables. They're, they, they, you know, this, this card channels fable energy. So somebody's about to learn a very valuable lesson, I feel. So we got somebody here that's a Pisces, okay? That's doing something that they have no business doing. Don't get me wrong, I like Pisces. Okay, love Pisces to Redella Reese's pieces. But sometimes you motherfuckers can do too much. Pisces are very emotional. They're very passionate beings. Okay. With the Ten of Cups in the reverse, this talks about somebody that you had a family with. Somebody that you were once happy with. Okay. They're trying to manifest you back, is what I heard. And with the Justice card in the reverse out here, that's not good either. The Four of Coins. So the Justice card to the Four of Coins talks about uh, restriction. Uh, illegal restriction. You have arrived. Somebody's coming towards you to make an offer. I, and, and to be honest with you, I did hear that this morning, um, you know, while I sat and I ruminated a little bit about what I was feeling, uh, that somebody's coming towards you. I tell you what, bear mace is always a good, is always a good solution or a motherfucking pistol, okay? Because I'm telling you now that the, the, the justice card to the, four, to the four coins, that to me talks about uh, like restricting somebody illegally. So the, what are we talking about? Kidnapping or some shit? Not so much that, but there's something very illegal about what this person is planning on doing. Let's get the four coins. Can I get one for the four coins, please? Thank you, spirit. The six of pentacles in the reverse. Ooh, the moon in the reverse. This person is very upset. The moon in the reverse talks about poor mental health. Uh, six of six of pentacles here. This person, so you you stopped giving and receiving with this person. You are no longer dealing with this person. You don't you don't. It's over. That's what I heard. This person is not happy about that. With the moon in the reverse. Clarify the moon in reverse. 
the 18th could be very significant. When is that? Sunday? Or Friday? Saturday. Saturday could be very significant. I just noticed that. The star in the reverse. I'm telling you, this person is butt the fuck hurt, okay? The star talks about wishes come. This is like a living nightmare for this person. Uh, oh, oh, oh. They're 17, 7, 18, 17. Okay, this person could be coming to see your ass this weekend. This person could be coming to see you this weekend. 17, 18. Give me another card, please. Listen, two of wands in the reverse. Clarify the two of wands in the reverse. I feel like this person feels like money is going to get you back. Page of cups in the reverse, a fishy cup offer. I'm telling you, the two of, to the two of wands. This person is running out of options, I just heard. The sun to the ace of coins, though. There's a lot that this person is doing. I feel like this person is trying to, uh, three of cups, I'm telling you, listen. Five of swords in the reverse, the seven of wands, you got this person on block. This person was cheating on you. This person had you in some type of third party in some type of competition with somebody. Um, I also feel like this, whoever, whoever this third party was tried to hurt you, the five of swords, but you were protected. This person has been spying on you as well. Could be a Sagittarius. Somebody that you've known for, okay, Spirit says that's the truth. So you could possibly, this person that's coming back into you, are very selfish, doesn't want to accept an ending. They're coming to make you an offer. I can't make it up with the King of Wands here. The Ace of Coins, this looks, I, I, this, this person could really be coming to you to propose to your ass. Confirmation. <laughs> wow. Or, running out of time. So, take this however you want to take it. I just heard that there could be two people coming. A race for time. Tick tock, tick tock, I keep hearing. Tick tock, tick tock, I keep hearing the tick tock of the clock. The countdown. You have somebody coming towards you with a fishy ass offer. <clears throat> somebody that you definitely don't deal with no more. Or used to deal with. Maybe you do. I don't feel like you deal with this person anymore. The six of coins in the reverse talks about not giving and receiving with this person. Okay. This page energy out here is also very irritating as fuck too. You got, you got somebody coming towards you with a page offer. Page of cups. I got a little cup of love for you. I got a little cup of love for you. It shit's karmic as hell. And I'll tell you why. They're still, they're with somebody. Like they, they were, they were with somebody or they are still with this person. There's three, there's three of cups to the five of swords. This person that they had you in a competition with is going to try to stop this person or has been trying to stop this person from coming towards you. Okay. Page again. We got a lot of immature ass energy out here. We got people spying on your ass, coming to make you fishy cup ass offers, page offers. Whoever the fuck this is could be a Sagittarius, okay? Or somebody sick. We got this. Okay, so this person could be uh, very imbalanced or sick. Or what? Or, oh, this person watching you is, is making them sick. So stop, stop fucking spying. Duh. Okay. This is somebody that this 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 is somebody that they've been with for a long time. So for a long time spirit says that's the truth this person could possibly even be had been married to this person or is still married to this person i just heard <sighs> they're married the hierophant i can't make this shit up this person still married to this person is coming to propose to you or propose something to you this this son to the ace of the sun talks about new beginnings here. This person's trying to manifest a new beginning with you, ace of coins. To me, that looks like a, like I'm just getting a lot of wedding energy, like a proposal, like somebody wants to propose something to you. Clarify the ace of coins for me. Let me give this a shuffle. 
somebody thinks that somebody somebody feels like they got a good ass idea to come towards you. I really feel like I really feel like it's not gonna work. I don't really feel like it's a good idea, period. Okay. We got that bunny there. This person really just, this person is uh sex is very significant too. The ace of wands in the reverse as well. This person's running off of, of passion. Okay. Sexual passion. I'm telling you, this person is traveling towards you this weekend. Ex expect expect a pop-up visit this weekend. What is wrong with people? It's Wednesday. Okay. Hump day. It's Wednesday. What is wrong with people? You don't just be popping up on somebody like that. Ace of coins. Thank you. Six of coins. I'm telling you, this person is coming to try to propose like they want they want they want you to give them they, they're trying to start something very brand new again i just heard they want they want to try to make this they want to they want to make things even but at the bottom of the deck is the devil i'm telling you this person the king of wands sweet dick willie in the reverse okay this is somebody definitely from your past with the five of cups at the bottom of the deck i don't really feel like we need to keep going on with this shit what do you guys think I think that this about sums it up. Okay, 26, 26 when I look down. So this is a very quick message. I just I feel like that my messages are getting shorter. I'm starting to see too, which is which is not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh something something is um I heard something this morning. I don't know if I should share it or not. We're going to get some state card out here, state card energy out here, and then I'm going to let you guys go. I feel like, and some initials possibly, we'll see what happens here. Um, if this message is for you, you're going to know. Is this the initials deck? Uh, there goes the, I got to clean this desk up again, y'all. Sorry. Bear with me one quick second while I find the rest of the initial cards. <laughs> mm -mm, love lives in strange places. It's the obvious that never shines. Texas could be significant. Just might find you when you least expect it. You never know. You never know. Somebody could know that somebody's about to come into your energy as well. I heard go grab a cup of coffee today, whoever you are. Somebody needs to. I feel like I feel like whoever you may have somebody coming into your energy. You may you may meet somebody while you go grab a cup of coffee is what I just heard. So that does sound kind of good though. The pistachio coffee from Starbucks sounds really good right now. Okay. Well, I guess I can't find the initials. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get Alexa to come over here and clean up my desk when I when I leave out today. Um, but anyway, let's get a state. Somebody's coming to see your ass though. Uh, I don't really. I'll grab, I'll grab a little bit more um, once uh, I get the state out here, the states out here. Texas could be very significant. You could be from Texas. This person could be from Texas, but Texas is very significant as well. New Jersey. Somebody could be coming from New Jersey or going to New Jersey, the Garden State. Traveling to and from where? Let's see. Let's get another state card out here. California, Sacramento, the Golden State. Yikes! Let's get. Um, what's what? What's the advice for the collective? What's the advice for the collective? What's the advice for the collective? <laughs> Dead it. Clarify the Ten of Swords, please.
I don't like this. Not at all. The Ten of Swords, I mean, it did to the Nine of Wands in the reverse to the King of Pentacles. Ca uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy to the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This person is, uh, I don't, I'm not. So when you are somebody who delivers messages, what do we all know? 9.55 at 5.5 five, five on the clock. Expect, I'm telling you, expect this is going to be very significant for somebody. You could possibly even feel this about to happen. Uh, we got to deliver the messages the way that you know we're hearing them, or the way that they, the way that the, the divine wants us to deliver them. This person is it's it's I don't I don't something bad is going to happen. Uh, should you agree to meet with this person, the ten of swords to the nine of wands in the reverse talks about somebody getting injured, or worse, but definitely injured. This is how this person is going to appear to you, the king of pentacles here. This person is going to come to you nice and shiny. Uh, I heard this person could pull up in a new car, but this person is flying to you. I heard, I heard uh, you have arrived. It's like, oh wow! So somebody's driving towards you. You have arrived. GPS. I was thinking flying. You have arrived. GPS. They're being followed. Listen, the Knight of Swords. I can't make it up. This person is going to be. It's very impulsive. And, and, and I'm, I'm ill-tempered is what I just heard, okay? Confirmate, confirm fucking nation. One more. So with the tadpole dream and frogs, uh, you're changing directions on a completely new path. This person knows that. This person's been spying on you. Spirit says that's the truth. This person is is ill-tempered. Spirit says that's the truth again. I'll tell you, this person's coming to make you an offer. The Knight of Cups. Ill Ill-tempered. What did I say? Ill-tempered. Okay. What? All right, y'all. I think I think that's about it. <laughs> I think this is the, we're not going to keep going on and on about it. I really do. You have arrived. I feel like somebody like I feel like somebody's so the rat. It's like a rat race. Somebody's trying to make it to you, and somebody's trying to make it to the person making it to you. Is that what I'm hearing? Let's get a couple more cards out here. Tell me about this rat race. Let me get it. Let me shuffle this shit. Not, I'm sorry. Not shit. Okay. Let me shuffle these cards. My lips is dry in the moment. Look at that. Okay. So. All right. Yeah, we're definitely going to do something about the lighting. Ugh. The wrong light and make a motherfucker look real old, okay? Somebody said you are old. Well, at least I'm still alive and healthy, okay? I'd rather be old and healthy than young and sick, okay? In that order, Apple Orchard, I'd rather be old and wrinkly than young and stupid, okay? Let's get that shit straight. Ten of Coins, the rat race. Clarify the Ten of Coins. That card wanted to come out. We're going to take it. The Seven. Uh, 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 give me one. We got Seven of Wands in the reverse. Ten of Coins, Seven of Wands in the reverse. One more. I'll tell you, it's a rat race. I don't. What did I say? Rat race. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. This person's only coming towards you for money. Psh, judgment in the reverse. Bad judgment, under judgment, however the fuck it works. This is a bad, this is a, first of all, it's a bad idea for all parties involved. Well, not for you, Collective, unless you decide to meet with this motherfucker. I, I, I don't know what to do, because I feel like this person's going to pop up on you. So, 
if this person pops up on you, we all know what to do. Don't or just don't open the door. If a person doesn't want to leave the door, contact the authorities. I feel like there's going to be a lot of drama with this person. King of King of Wands in the reverse again. Sweet dick. Well, this person is this person. I, I feel like while they're coming towards you, somebody's coming towards them coming towards you. You feel me? Whoever this person had you in a competition with, I'm telling you, three. Of, I cannot make this up the three of cups. I just said that shit. This person wants you to be involved in some type of third party situation that they're not telling you about. I'm telling you, this person is still married. I feel like this person was married to you. Mar the justice in the reverse. I'm telling you, this person is has been was like married for a very long time to someone. Two of the two of wands, man, to death. Listen, from this person, this person has been married to somebody. So basically, what I'm telling you is that you were the third party. You might have felt like this person was cheating on you, which they probably were, okay? But you were not, this person was already married. You were the third party. That's what I'm picking up. You were the third party. So this person is coming back towards you for money for money reasons because they're a fucking gold digger, okay? They're hoping that they're hoping they're hoping that there's some type of wealth with the ten of coins here that you're gonna share with them. Uh, that you're gonna let down your guard. They're hoping that you unblock them so that they can sock it to you okay keep you in. it's it's a rat race a rat race literally somebody's coming towards you and somebody's coming toward that person that's coming towards you sounds like a bunch of fun don't it it doesn't it sounds like a bunch of bullshit they've been married to this person for quite some time and you were the third party you just didn't know it this person their, their person that's been spying on you why this person's been spying on you also knows that so there's a lot of things, judgment in the reverse, that you don't know. Spirit is saying that you better pour out that fucking, be, be, pour out that cup. Yeah, the devil. I can't make it up. I cannot make this shit up. High priestess. Listen, pour out that cup. Stay by yourself. Tend to your garden. Mind your business. I see your advice. You got the devil coming towards you, literally. Okay, somebody very toxic. Two people, I'm telling you. Two people, two lovers, two very toxic lovers. One's coming towards you. The other one's coming toward that person coming towards you. I hope that makes sense. Spirit is saying, refuse the offer. You already feel like this person is coming. You already know it. You can feel it. Okay? That's just, this is a confirmation for you. I'll get you a um, an Oracle card, and then we'll go. We'll get your Archangel Michael, because it sounds like you might need to call upon your Archangels to stand guard at your door. All you got to do is ask them. They'll do it. Okay? Especially um, if you're one of you know one of God's favorite little kids, favorite children, you just call upon those angels. Nope. Give me. Can I get an Archangel Michael prayer card, please? Honor and trust your feelings. I'm telling you, you already know that this person is coming towards you. You can feel it, even if you're not speaking to this person. I'm picking up the fact that you already know this person's coming towards you. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. Archangel Michael. That's it. I'm closing out this message. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? I am your Uncle 79, the spiritual savage. Remember... You grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. It's always take it easy. I love you to the moon and back. Deuces. Savage.